Here we go. We are now live streaming on Facebook, people. Uh, kia ora koutou for those of you who have come on time. Uh, you're so impressive. Uh, no mai, hara mai. We're going to wait a couple of minutes uh, for people to join in. Uh, it's been a big day today. Uh, it's International Trans Day of Visibility. So for all our takatāpui and non-binary whānau out there, mihi atu. And, uh, but also it's been a sad day. It's been a mm -hmm. really, really sad day. And in fact, a sad week. Mm. Uh, so as those as, as you're joining, uh, no mai haramai. And we'll just keep... Assume that you're coming in. So yes. So welcoming everybody here. It's only one minute past. I'm thinking not everybody's here within one minute of the start time. We're going to wait for one minute more. And I hope that you're comfortable. Get yourself a drink. Just going to have a fun time listening mm -hmm. to these amazing people on screen. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's see my though. Uh, no, my haramai, kitene zui, uh, kitene webina. Uh, this is brought to you by Tema Tawaka. We are the Māori and Pacifica Caucus of the Green Party. And last year, we did a whole lot of visits around the Motu, visiting land occupations, seeing the kind of struggles and fights, really that our people were undergoing across the Motu. And so we have brought some of you here today uh, because of your work that inspired us, we produced Hoki Whenua Mai. It was a discussion document that looked at lots of ways that we can use the government processes that have been used against our people to actually change those mm. to have our land returned in multiple different ways. Mm. So you've been all brought together uh, as guardians, mm. as uh, protectors, to uh, just tell your stories. And we really, really appreciate you being here. As I say though, um, as we start and we open this hui, uh, with karakia, we want to mahi to our, our rangatira who passed, um, mm. Wana Jackson. Aye. and um, But also June Jackson who passed and Wira Gardner. These three incredible leaders. Uh, and so, there was talk that maybe we should cancel this. We're like, oh no, the work must continue. We will do this in their honour. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But also, we honour all of the komato we have lost who, who did this fight and left without seeing it finished. In this generation, let us finish more of this work. So, he karakia uh, kia tau te mauri. Uh, whakataka te hau ki te uru, whakataka te hau ki te tonga. Kia mā kina kina ki uta, kia mā tara tara ki tai. E hia ki ana te atakura, he tio, he huka, he hauhu, tihei mauri ora. Yeah. We're going to get right into it. We're going to hear from each of our whānau who are here in our aki. I'm going to ask you to put yourself back on mute. Press that mute button. So then, kāpai. Excellent. And we're going to listen to our first whānau from Ngāru Wahia. I'm quite excited to hear from you uh, because the work you've been doing is amazing. Uh, so this is uh, to protect Pukeahua. And uh, we're going to hand it to you, please. Introduce yourself in the way that you want to and uh, tell us a story. We're really excited to hear it. Kia ora. <coughs> a kātira, ko te mihi atu ki a tātou, uh, ko piri tahi nei a topa nei, a ipurangi nei, uh, ki te whera whera i ngā kōrero e pāna ki tēnei mea te kaitiakitanga o tātou whenua. Uh, hi nei rā, ko te, ko te mihi atu ngā kau, a ngā te tamaunu pō, o te rā ngā kaitiaki, uh, o te papa, I puke ia hua pā e mihi ake ana ki a koutou me tēnei whakaaro rangatira 
a o koutou o te rao tātou. Uh, he ahai, uh, he, he huarahi tēnei, he, he ahai uh, te wāhi, te wāhanga ki o tātou whenua, o te rao tātou nohonga whenua, uh, me te kite atu, uh, e hara ko, ko mātou ana he, e takahi ana i tēnei huarahi, engari he, he huhua tātou e pēnei ana, uh, te, te tiaki a tātou whenua no reira e mihi ana, o te rā ki a tātou mate huhua, kei waimanui a tātou, a ngā rangatira kua huaina e koe e te whaia o te rā ngā mate o te kainga nei, a katahi anō ka pāhemo, pērā i tā mātou a kraua a, a shari, a, a tahana kua, kua rūpeke atu ki tō tā waiwau, a me ngā kuia a, o tūranga waiwai o, o te rā o wāhi pā kua, kua mene atu ki tau a huinga o te kahurangi no reira ki nei rā ka mihi ake ka tangi ake ki a rātou katoa. So my name is Arana, as you can see on the, on the screen. I'm one of the kaitiaki of, of Puke Yahua Pā, o te rā te whenua e noho nei mātou. And uh, it's been neke atu i te whitu rau uh, rā, i a mātou e tiaki ana i tō mātou whenua. Uh, been heaps of pickies, been heaps of hickies, but uh, like like uh, some of us may have, have read that there's been a big picky, um, which has picky our way a wairua, me ta mātou uh, uh, ngākau nui ki tēnei kaupapa, uh, engari ka waihuau i tērā kōrero mō aku uh, mō, ngā, mō ngā wahine toa, wahine tiaki o tō tātou uh, whenua puki ahua. Uh, I became involved in this, in this uh, whawhai uh, from the, from day one, uh, when my my hua went down, uh, heated the call uh, that was put out by Angati Tamani Pofano, went down there during the morning. I sort of went down during the afternoon and then got realised that um, there's no other thing for me to do but to assist in the tiaki of this whenua, me o na kōrero tapu, um, knowing that Pukiahua Pa's history, I'm from Otorohanga myself, Ngāti Mania Poto, but knowing the history of this puke and this and this pa, this mara, this whenua that we're protecting has also um, got a lot of connections to my people of Ngāti Mania Poto, I felt, and also to my wife from Ngāti Tamaunipo, so I felt obligated and responsible to to join the fight. Ano nei ngā, ngā kōrero a Rio Mania Poto, ka whawhai tonu mātou ake ake ake, and knowing that I've only got a small portion of this 10 minutes, ka hoa atu te rākau ki taku hoa wainia, mā nā e waha kōa ia, uh, me ona kōrero, e mā ki mai uh, tō mātou taha e whakakapi. Tēnā tātou. A tēnā tātou e te pāne. Uh, ko ai tēnei, ko Sylvia Hughes a hau, he uri au no ngā kuhi, no ngā titu wharetua, uh, hoi anō no waikato maniapoto, uh, i tipu ake au i raro I ngā manaakitanga, uh, i ngā mātāpono te kingitanga, oro tō mai o Ngārua Wāhia. Um, and yeah, koea, that's me. Um, and I guess for me, um, this has been a huge kaupapa uh, for myself as a rangatahi. Um, lots of learning, lots of, um, and I suppose a lot of um, prompting um, as, as rangatahi to get involved with our pakeke. Um, but Overall, the whole experience, it hasn't ended. This isn't, this is, yeah, we're, we're really near the end. Um, we're yet to get uh, to to achieve the, the dream that we um, set out to achieve, which is to um, provide uh, more opportunities for our whanas and our community um, in regards to mātauranga Māori and, and, and our obligations as uri of our tūpuna. Um, and to carry out uh, those um, ahuatanga from Mahu and Maiki Amato. Um, but um, for me, it's been very interesting. Um, like Arana said, there's been a lot of ups and downs. Um, fortunately, and, and sometimes I, I wonder whether or not I had the kaha or have the kaha to carry out some of some of the roles that I've taken on just being um, a part of uh, this kaupapa. Um, but I guess for me, the importance of this kaupapa um, is, is my whakapapa, is my connection with my taio, um, is, is our hitori. 
Um, and now kaupapa Papa Matu are there. We carry and we support as Ngati Tamai New Post, such as the Kingi um, and and um, and and developments also within our community to provide opportunities not only for the Uri of Tamai New Post, but also just members of the public and um, other hapu with interests within within the Tamai New Post or here boundary. So. Um, um yeah, so that what a roller coaster of a ride. It's it's actually day six hundred and ninety-four since our uh, Fano, our Hapu, our Hapori galvanized into action uh, to protect the last of our, our rua attached to Pukia Huapa Ingaruawahia. For those who don't know the three hundred year old narrative, um, basically our Tupuna, if you go back about seventeen generations or so, uh, Angati Tamainipo Chief Ngaere called out the words to start a great feast between Ngati Maniapoto and, and Waikato Ngati Tamainipo uh, to, to start this great feast, this reconciliation feast. Um, and he called out Wahia Ngarua, open the food pits. And 300 years later, every resident uh, and business in Ngarua Wahia carries this narrative in their postcode. Uh, also, the, the name of Hakari Mata, the Hakari Mata ranges that have about a thousand steps, that over a hundred thousand uh, really keen walkers walk every year, um, also comes from that narrative. And so, for us, when we talk about Kōrero Tukuiho, and we, we see what others just see holes in the ground, but we see um, Whakapapa, Mātauranga, the fact that it's a tangible connection to our. Tupuna, who laid their hands and created these marakai. So uh, what we've learned in this journey is that our perspective as mana whenua, as kaitiaki, is very different to others who just say, oh, it's just a hole in the ground. And um, we have to be really clear with them that actually, no, that, that is a representation of mātauranga, whakapapa. It is taonga because of that. And if you destroy that, it means that our our Uri Whakatupu will never have the experience to walk that whenua and to engage in an authentic um, way with, with the mātauranga gifted to them by their tupuna. So this, is, this isn't also, uh, I guess, a journey of reclamation of whenua. It's about reclamation of identity um, and mātauranga. We're, we're talking about land that was um, raupatu whenua. It was um, taken after the Waikato land wars. And, you know, everything we are doing now builds on that struggle of the Kingitanga movement to um, come together as a collective and to retain our whenua. And, you know, when you look at how much of land in Aotearoa is owned, um, we really need to hold on to as much as we can. Uh, you know, four years ago, we did not know the systemic issues affecting um, mana whenua in this space, but we've certainly had a steep learning curve. Um, we've learned that there's a lot of mana that the developers have. They can choose to ignore hapu if they want to when they apply for resource consents. They can choose to ignore hapu mana whenua when they um, apply for archaeological authorities uh, and, and those are the loopholes that we've found is that no one's checking to see if they've left someone off the list, especially um, a group that has has um, real whakapapa to the whenua in question. And so we've had to become uh, quite, you know, up to play with legal processes 
we're, we've had to be really big learners and we've had to be networkers because everything we do in our space is mahi aroha. There's, it's, it's koha. We're, um, you know, looking after our livelihoods as well as making sure that this kaupapa is sustained. And um, as Arana said, we, you know, we don't often have really big wins, but yesterday we had a big win in terms of um, the environment court hearing uh, where the developers were trying to overturn a decision through the environment court so that they could um, have their resource consent for earthworks reinstated. And um, that was an intense week for our kaumātua, our rangatahi, our Fano, to have to listen online to five days of others talking about um, our whenua without the without that connection of whakapapa and mātauranga, and to have to listen to three days, um, the sort of distance and personal kōrero about whenua that is tūpuna whenua um, was very, very hard for our whānau. And so what we had to go into the court and remind the judge is that this is taonga, this is protected under te tiriti, um, RMA is supposed to uphold te tiriti and, and honour those practices. And so we were just so grateful when we heard the news yesterday and appreciative that, um, you know, our side had won and that, that consent has been cancelled and remains cancelled. And that's a huge win for us. It means that we don't have to go to court to know it's, it's special, it's taonga, it's culturally significant, but it doesn't hurt that the judge actually um, backs us. And so the more we've gone along, the more that we've built um, understanding of its significance. And so we, we celebrated last night, um, but also knowing that, you know, a new day will bring new challenges. And this is a, a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, yeah, so I mean, for us, the ultimate goal is, you know, iriro whenua to me hoki whenua mai, this is raupatu whenua. Our ultimate goal is to have the land returned uh, to our hapu so that mokapuna, our uri whakatupu, can continue to walk in the footsteps of their tupuna and ancestors. Uh, it's not good enough to read about it in a book or see a video. Um, you can't engage mind, body, heart, soul, um, as Māori, without our whenua. That's just, you know, our awa. Um, you just can't replace that. There's no virtual experience that can replace that. And as uh, a whānau, as a hapu, for 694 days, we've been able um, to re-engage with whenua that we have been alienated from since 1864. So that is what that is our why, that is our motivation. I love the idea of a hoki whenua my fund. You know, that is um, some of the solutions that we are looking at um, ultimately to return the, our tupuna whenua back to us. And that's, that's us in a nutshell. Kia ora, I am so blown away. I'm, I'm going to just come to you um, very soon. <laughs> I'm just going to do a reminder to anybody uh, who is watching here to go into the Q&A if you have any questions and we'll do those after all our, all our whanau have spoken. Uh, I am so inspired by what you've just done. The end, it's a marathon, not a sprint. That this, it's been a long time to get to where we are and it'll take some time but hopefully we can speed that up. Uh, also, I just noticed that I forgot to introduce myself. I didn't write down, say your name, Elizabeth, and somehow that left my mind. So just quickly, kia ora, kui Elizabeth kere kere tēnei, uh, he mokopuna au o te tairawhati ki te taha o toku papa, uh, ko whanau ākai, ko Ngāti Oni Oni, ko te aitanga maha ki ko rongo whakata me ngai tāmanu hiri, uh, ki te taha o toku mama, uh, no Airangi, uh, ko County Clear me County Tipperary, and I am the chair of Te Matawaka, and uh, I lead this work for Hoki Whenua Mai, so very excited to host you all here tonight. And I'm going to pass over to our next speaker, who I'm sure will have no troubles 
<laughs> telling us a beautiful story. Kia ora, Kelly. Tēnā tātou, ko nga te reho tuku hapu, ko Kelly Clank tuku ingoa, hu uri au, no Aotea tuku turanga waiwai. So, um, big congratulations to you guys for the win of the uh, Environment Court. Um, and what was nice is that we uh, we hooked up over a year ago on an occupation we were on out at Pātaua, but um, we won that pretty quick and moved on. But uh, for us, Protect Altia, we've been um, um, working within the EUZ, the Exclusive Economic Zone, so in the Moana. So looking at, so what that's governed by is for the foreshore out to the 12 miles is under the RMA, and then the 12 mile out to the 200 is under the EZ Act of 2012, um, which has really left Māori displaced within that space. Um, we're pretty much voiceless, um, so I'm just trying to get back in there. But um, first of all, I did want to acknowledge, um, because this fight has been going on, especially for Ngāti Rehoa, um, since 1844, since we started to lose our whenua um, back then, um, as early as, uh, as then, and now people have been fighting within these spaces, fighting Crown, fighting the injustices of Pākehā. So I want to acknowledge first and foremost um, my tupono that have been leading this for the last 180 years. So I'm just the end player of their, of their uh, mahi and, um, and their tool to move this forward. So I acknowledge our tupono. <clears throat> so um, what had happened for us, it was that um, the first case we put into a submission in 2018 and 2019, uh, in the beginning, they had granted Coastal Resources Limited an extra 200,000 cubic metres of dredge waste to come out to uh, just off our Tupuna Mutu, uh, Rakitu, um, and to be dumped just out by Aotea. And so that would look like eight litres per second for the next 35 years being dumped in our Tupuna Moana. I'm, um, our Moana is Tamana Nui o Toi. I'm 32 generations from Toi to Huatahi and have a strong whakapapa connection. And I think just like Kimai had said, I think it's that returning to your whenua, returning to your Moana and, and sitting still and being quiet and, and being with your Tupuna because they're there. It's, it's more than, um, than Tonga, it's this deep connection with your tupuna. And I think, um, and that's the sadness that we're seeing when we've had all our land taken and stolen. It's been stolen. For us on, on Altair, we were almost landless by 1856. We had all our land taken. We managed to squeeze back 3,510 acres of uh, 70,000, uh, just over 70,000 acres on Altair. And we managed to squeeze this little bit back that we still hold today, but that's still not enough. It's, it breaks down um, so much of our, our korero. And, and you know, what's interesting is if you look at Aotea and you look at the old names, the old Māori names around the island, they all have the history and the stories that go with them. That's been lost. And so, um, you know, we're, we're pushing back for that. So going on with the, the coastal resources. So the 200,000 went in and, um, we went and uh, put in an appeal uh, with um, a community group space on Altea, and we decided how Protect Altea formed was how would iwi and community come together, being led by iwi on a taki, on an environment, environmental taki. So we created Protect Altea in that, in that vein that we would work together, and we did really well. And so we ended up in court, and you've got to remember, we're out on this little island and we're trying to um, write affidavits. We don't have electricity, we didn't have um, <laughs> internet, and we'd have to drive up the road 20 minutes to go and get onto, usually stayed at the shop and copy, wrote everything out and printed it off and, and got it off to the lawyers. And, um, and then having to fly off island, get down to Wellington to um, fight, um, which seems wrong that where's our voice in this, in this issue? Um, too often I'm hearing, uh, okay, well, we're going to consult with Māori, we're going to consult with iwi, and that's what they do, they consult. They took a box and that's about as, as good as it gets. So I'm looking at, I'd like to see that consultations removed, it's redundant, 
Uh, we need collaboration. I'm done with, I'm over consultation. I think if we're gonna move forward, we need better um, words and wording within the policies um, that are in line with Māori and actually hear Māori. And it's the same with the EPA, the Environmental Protection Authority. They have an, a Māori advisory committee that sit there and advises them on iwi issues. But again, the EPA don't, um, don't take any directive from them. It's just consultation. It's again ticking a box. And again, Māori are finding themselves having to fight in spaces that they shouldn't have to be in. So for us, <clears throat> We would like to see better changes, you know, in legislation. And, uh, you know, for me, um, as we went to court, and of course we won that case in, in 2019, in December, we won that. Um, and, and so that was a, a huge win. And, and because we were sort of left alone at that point. Look, if you look at the Crown agencies like Department of Conservation, they had an, an obligation, well, they should have had an obligation. They put a submission in against Coastal Resources Limited, and they are the ones that are funded by government millions of dollars for the protection of the environment, and yet as little iwi hapu like us, Ngāti Rewa, they had to take on these big giants and go to court and with our own money, finding our own money to take them to court. Now, the Department of Conservation, when we rung them to come in and put in a section 274, which you can in the High Court, uh, they, they wouldn't. They wouldn't support us, and yet they're the ones that are controlling our whenua, our moana, and what we're doing, and leaving Māori voices in this space. And so that was a real um, mamai for us, to be left alone on this tucky when they're the ones that the government fund. <clears throat> After we were in court um, during that time, uh, wasn't long after we heard that the Environmental Protection Authority then had granted Ports of Auckland a, um, a dumping consent. So they had a two prong attack, Ports of Auckland. First of all, they went for the um, consent to dredge, and, but, and then they had to apply for another consent for the dumping, because the dumping's in the EEZ. Now, out there at Akuvia, that's a non-notified dump site. That means that Māori and community don't have a say in it. I want, and there's five around New Zealand that are like that within the EPA, and that needs to change because to think that Māori don't have taonga or have, you know, the old fishing grounds, um, the one at Rakitu that was Ngāti Reho um, Whapapu grounds, to think that we aren't out there is ludicrous. And so we want to see the five non-notified dump sites around Aotearoa overturned. Um, Māori and iwi should and must have a voice in that space. So, <laughs> so going back, uh, supports so Auckland, then we granted the dredging consent. We all went in and submitted and presented and still they were granted again, again, uh, this is just tick boxing, Māori again having to take time out of their day and, and, um, and money out of their own pocket to attend these cases and to fight uh, for our rights. Again, we found ourselves having to put an appeal in to the Environment Court. Uh, so we're in the midst of um, that court case. We've just been through the High Court to appeal a decision from the Environment Court where they were going to separate or not look at in a te ao Māori perspective that you can't separate the dredging and dumping just because they fall under two different acts. Uh, so we've just finished that in the High Court. We also got a judicial review in the High Court to appeal the decision of the dumping. Now the dumping's almost 2 million cubic metres that they want to take out there. And so for us, we understand that um, the connection uh, although it's down, so Kubia, although you can see it from the island on the barrier, but it's out just off the Coromandel Peninsula. But for us, Tamana Nui Toy runs down there, and um, there's still a connection with all of that paru is still going to come into the Hauraki Gulf. And we all understand what's happening out there now. We've just done the, the plan and how um, dire Hauraki Gulf is. And I remember someone said to me, oh, Kelly, but that's outside the Hauraki Gulf. And I'm like, mm, yeah, but that's a Pākehā construct. 
that's not how Māori see that. Those are your lines that don't fit with Māori into our Māori. So we don't see it like that. We see it like a living being. And um, the moana is the thing that connects every iwi together. It's what keeps us locked in together. And so um, we're in the midst of that, fighting that at the moment. But last year we put in, so just like Kimai was saying, you know, we had to put in a, uh, an appeal in the Environment Court against Glenfern Sanctuary and the Ministry of Cultural and Heritage because they gave an archaeological um, permit without any consultation. Uh, we were lucky to settle that outside of um, court through mediation and got 50-50 representation for Tangata Whenua on that board. But again, Māori are fighting these issues. Again, Māori are having to be forced into a Pākehā court system, which is foreign for Māori, and having to fight this uh, is, un is unjust. I think if we, at the beginning, for us, we need better legislation, we need better policies, and we need better practices from Crown agencies um, when they engage with tangata whenua, tangata moana, um, that have our voices heard right at the beginning. Otherwise, we're going to be stiff. This is just going to be a replay. And we're seeing it more and more as we go around, you know, I've been around to a few of the occupations. And the mama is the same. The dahara is the same. Uh, the issues are the same. And it comes down that Crown is not listening, or Crown Agency and Crown are not listening to tangata whenua, tangata moana. And um, until that happens, we're still we're going to be in this position again. Um, yeah, so that, that would be, for me, what I would like. Um, my, my, my goal is, yeah, change in legislation, change in policies, change in how Crown engages with Māori. And um, it's really time now to start handing back some of our whenua um, sitting in, in uh, council and Crown hands. It's time now. I mean, how are Māori going to be reconnected if we have no whenua? How are Māori going to be Māori with no land or no moana? And that's what we're seeing within the EZ. The EZ has almost become, um, it's just going to be wiped out from Māori. Because if you look at your maka, they only allow you to apply within the RMA um, realm. So um, I'm pushing out into that EZ. And I think Māori need a voice um, within that space. So, yeah, kia ora. Kia ora. I cannot believe how much you get done. Listening to you, <laughs> we so rely on techno technology and you're driving to go to the local shop so you can write something and print something. Um, and we've been fortunate to be hosted on Aotea by you and, and to hear some of those stories. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to pass right over to uh, Ngāti Pawa Danella. Oh, tēnā koutou kato. Taupiri te maunga, ko Waikato. Wātarawa te maunga, ko Hauraki, whakatiwa te awa. Kaohi te hapu. Whakatiwa te marae. Ngāti Pawa de iwi. Tainui te waka. Nā mihi. Nā mihi. To our tūpuna. To my queer, Harietta Gordon, my cousin. She started this journey to get back our whenua and Waiheke Island. Nā mihi tu hariata. Unfortunately for us, we ended up with two protests groups of Putiki Bay. Ngāti Pawa occupied the beach 
peacefully. Protested for the first day of construction when Carla Ali set up our Fenona on the camps on the beach with the rest of our Fenona that supported her. It was a peaceful protest, our occupiers, our Fano, objecting to the desecration of our cultural history in Putiki Bay, while holding the mana of Ngāti Pāwa. They had achieved this by sticking to the kopapa with the support of the trust board. And without the help of protest, Putiki, the protesters. Unfortunately, for us, there were individuals who became infatuated by the media coverage and give a little and using social media to gain a following of total forgetting what the kopa, the original kopapa was. What started as tanga te whenua, cultural objections, became a community. Tauiwi protesters with some individuals claiming to represent Ngāti power in the media and added effect to the kaupapa. For me, Danella Robeck, the co-chairman of Ngāti Pāwa, as kaitiaki, our cultural history at Putiki Bay, our taonga, the korara, the rahui that was placed around Waiheke Island, by our kaimawana. The whakapapa, our tonga. We are one in the moana on the whenua. It's a very sad, sad day that our queer Hariata Gordon that the legacy is kaitiaki. And as my legacy to my tupuna, to be kaitiaki, to protect our moana and whenua. We've been battling this for four years in the courts.
and costing the trust board. We have never had a cent from Protect Putiki. We have never had a cent from no one. This is the legacy that the trust board and that's kaitiaki of our iwi to protect our cultural history, to protect our whenua, our moana, our tonga. A lesson learned for us, a Nati power. That if you don't support the kopapa and the tikanga and the kawa that was laid down in the moana and the whenua, you won't achieve solitary, which is what which is what we must achieve. The co the kopapa that was set out for us. We have a long battle in the courts and still waiting on the courts today. It's a very sad day. My wish to Parliament, to all Māori that sits in that great chair, do something about it. Get off your butts and do something about it. Stop trampling on the mana, on our mana, the iwis. We're not mana whenua like the pakeha, the crown. We're not. We are the kaitiaki. Just like you are the kaitiaki to protect us. So we're here today as Fano, supporting each other, not putting the mighty old dollar that waves in front of us with the marinas, with the developers. I ask. Or Māori that sit in Parliament. Do something about it. Protect us. Because I can tell you that our tūpunas are watching down on us. But first of all, the Lord is watching down We ourselves, it's our job, our love, as kaitiaki, or our iwi, our hapu. But we're caught up in the court system and we have to go down this track. What I'm saying is Parliament, Māori, that you sit in these chairs, do your job. You were born with the light from our tūpuna, each and every one of us. 
I'm asking you, do your job. Make our mukapunas be proud of us. Never forget we whakapapa to the moana, to the whenua, to our tongue. Now mihi and kia ora. Kia ora Danella. I just want to acknowledge the mamai that you're feeling um, that has been there. I want to acknowledge that different parts of the whānau want to take part in these and how important it is that when our young people with their vibrance, with their enthusiasm and their expertise on social media, social media that many of us followed and that's how we knew about it and that's how we wanted to give support. So there was beauty in that. Um, but it's so important then to make sure that no matter what the kaupapa is, is that always that our young people are working with their elders, um, taking guidance, but also learning from each other. Yeah. And so, mahi to your mamai. Our final speaker tonight is Aki, and I pass it over to you. You take yourself off mute. There you go. I'm say. Yeah. Kira koto koto. Kanui te mihi ki au koto me to kororo, me to mamai, me to aroha, mo te whenua, mo te awa, mo te moana. Ko tāki te mu te waka, o ngā te kahungunu te iwi, ko kohu pāti ki te marae, Ko ngaro roro mo ko tuwararo ki rangatira te awa. Ko akanehi paipa ahau. Tēnā koutou katoa. I'm, uh, I'm on a roll. Um, I lived in North America for 43 years. And on frequent visits back to home in uh, Kohupatiki Marae, I, I said to sister, something's happening with our river, our awa. I grew up on the Awa, I was of a generation back then that every one of us could swim. Every one of us had a connection to Moana, to Awa, to the Fenua. I was a fortunate child to have been born into a Fano, a Hapu, a Iwi, a, 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 a Marai, and that was incredibly incredibly, incredibly talented with marakai, with fishing, et cetera, et cetera. So when I came back from these visits and I started noticing a difference with our awa, um, I said to sister, something's wrong here. We better get onto it uh, and take a look at what's happening. Our rivers are migratory rivers for endemic species, example. The long fin tuna that swims or comes by larvae from the area of the Pacific called Tonga comes in and populates our rivers. And the female can spend up to 65, 70 years in our waters. And then she has to shapeshift and turn and swim back to Tonga to complete her cycle. Our rivers have become inhospitable. We got trade, we got industry, we got horticulture, all the cultures, we, we got it all. I do want to say at this time, and I want to acknowledge farmers and farming communities who are doing regenerative farming. I do want to acknowledge that because not everybody is a, a, a person. They're all trying to do their best. But there are many, many, many who are still begging out for the artificial fertilizing. And what happens in our rivers, we're filled with nitrates, we're filled with iodine, we're filled with zinc, we're filled with uh, chemicals that no longer support our, our waters. What does that mean? Can't fish, can't swim, can't wait. Cultural disconnection. 
this is what I see in view of my since I returned home is we've been culturally disconnected from our whenua, from our moana, from, from our awa. And so where do we go from here? Tonight I'm blessed with uh, Dr. Elizabeth to uh, launch a petition because um, our river was, uh, the name of our river, Ngaruroro Mokotuararo Kirangatira, was given by our tipuna of the Wakatagi Timu, Ruafaro. Ruafaro came into Hawke's Bay. He had three sons and he did, he gave them areas of kaitiaki. And the, the area that we got was uh, Mokotuararo. And what was he there for? Just like you were saying, Daniela, and everybody is saying to, to make sure the 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 kai mona, the kai of the hour, everything was supported. And so now today we have all these industrial and things going on in our hour that is degrading us and degrading us, but more importantly, because we are Fenua-based people degrading us culturally. So I, um, I uh, we started working in uh, 2012, uh, 2008 when I came back permanently from uh, overseas and I came in, in into the land. I said to my sister, let's form a little working group. We call ourselves Operation Patiki because our hour uh, was gifted with Patiki supply in Nanga, Tuna, you name it, we had it. Almarai was rich. I don't know what it means to staff. Our, our Fano and our Tikunas fed us top shelf. How can you forget that? I don't know what hunger is. And now today we got our Fano that are, are separated from their culture a little bit and don't know how to fish, don't know how to kite, don't know, you know, that's a cultural disconnect that I'm facing. And this is the residue in what my opinion is of colonialism. That's what colonialism, even if it happened back in 1840, whatever, it's still going on today. So the question I ask myself is, how do we um, how do we get beyond and under that? We've got to get beyond it. And every one of you that I heard your corridor tonight, you were doing the thing of the thing of the thing to 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 actually do what it takes to do that. I'm not giving up hope. I'm not giving up. In uh, 2009 or something, uh, my family was taken. We, we took the Hastings District Council to the Privy Court in England. And one of those reasons was they were trying to take, uh, uh, take roads from our orchards. Our family is fortunate to have orchards in a, in a place where the ground and the, uh, the water supply and everything was perfect, right in the middle of Hastings. And they wanted to take a road so they could build a road for the benefit of the of the so-called elite. We said, no, we're not doing that. My sister Maggie spent 12 years in the courts here in the general courts. And then finally we got our chance and we went to England and we went to the Privy Court. And God bless our toes. I don't know how it happened. Uh, but the, the one of the lords on the court, because it's all conducted by English lords, was Lord Cook who had spent time in New Zealand and who was on the, um, the, the courts here and he knew all about Maori Korero. He knew about what we were suffering. And so in his thing, in the end, the road didn't go through. So don't give up, don't give up. Keep going, keep going, whatever, push your way through, don't give up because you never know when under the blue. I'm blessed tonight, I'm, and I'm on this broadcast because of Dr. Elizabeth. And, uh, you know, uh, we're not going to give up. We've been at this a long time, and um, 
I think I'm starting to enjoy it uh, because to have fun with the Pākehā and your opposites and everything. And, and believe you me, we, we, there are a lot of Pākehā out there that, that want to help. They're not all bad guys. They're not. But let's look at what we're going to choose in the future so that we can um, harness and mandate and get it with the people that we need to be with. I think that's my corridor for myself is um, um, I've met a wonderful lot of people who are on the path. Not all New Zealanders are not about slamming and bamming the whenua or the awa or, or the moana. There are decent people out there, they who we want to connect to. They who are we want to afi and sing. I took all your corridor. What beautiful, beautiful corridor. And it does go back a long time. So, Noreda, Tenata to Katoa. Kia ora. Kia ora. Since we're, um, we're all on this call together and you talked about um, the, the name of the river, do you want to tell people what the petition is about? Yes, the petition is I'm putting in a um, in a request to the New Zealand Geographical Board to have the original historical name of our, our return to what it was. Currently, the name was given and it was usurped uh, from uh, from our uh, hapu. Uh, it's called Clive. Historically, Clive comes out of the Indian Wars. He never stepped foot in New Zealand. Same as Hastings, Napier, and all of those names, they come from a colonial corridor that came out of the wars of India when Britain was uh, uh, taking over India. And so Clive is just one of those ones, all oh, give it Clive. Our river was diverted for flooding reasons. And the other, the new channel was given the name Ngarudoro, and our our channel was given Clive. Ngarudoro Mukutuararo. I'll just tell you this: it was the high priest, uh, the Tohunga Rua Faro of the Wakataki Timu, who came and gave his three sons protection over the Bay of Hawke's Bay. We got Ngarudoro uh, Mukutuararo. And now uh, the other name, Naruroro, comes from uh, a mahu who was a bit of an adventurer, a seeker. And he was up river. He was always up investigating uh, rivers, etc. And he had a kuri. And his kuri came across a shoal of grayling, which incidentally is extinct from our rivers. This was an endemic species, extinct. And what happened when the kuri went in the water, he had the created waves and the thing in the fish world, da, da, and hence the name, Ngarudoro. And so that's how we got that. Now we think it's time we take back our mana, our modi, our tikanga, our, our right to that. We have a right to it. And I no longer am interested in colonialisms anymore. Uh, because I see what what the thing the thing is. I lived in North America for forty three years, and I saw the same things occurring with the indigenous and Native Americans. The same things that we have gone through, the same things that the Aborigines have gone through, the same corridor that indigenous people worldwide have gone for. So, in my opinion, I think we're onto it. You know, I think we're all onto it. You're all onto it. You've gone through your own experiences and you, Jane, you're onto it. And so I just say, Kiaka, let's keep going. We will find the openings to, to correct this and to not accept what has been dealt to us. Yeah. So, we are launching right now the online petition to restore the tupuna name to Ngaruroro Mokotu Araro Kirangatira. 
there's a link right now, people. This is interactive. We're all going to go right now onto this link that's in the chat. I'm inviting you all to go right now and go in there and sign the petition. <laughs> nah, <me. laughs> We're going to give you a minute to do that. <laughs> Where, where's right chat? Now, people? Chat is now, if you go to the bottom of yeah. your screen, yes, yeah. you can see some words. It goes participants, Q&A, then there's one called chat. Chat. Yes, oh, there you, it is. You press chat and the last thing on there, it's got a link. And you oh, look for the go. blue. Here we, go. here we go. Yes. You click on the blue. I'm there. Yes. And oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so we, we're going to be sending that out. Look at that. Look oh. at that. A beautiful queer. papa. See, already four people. I'm doing mine <laughs> right now. Right now. Oh, add signature. How do you add your signature? You go into where the green boxes are. Mm -hmm. And you just fill in your name, your first name, your last name. Oh, I name. did. Yeah, yes. I did all of that. Kapai. Oh, and, and then you just add signature. Yes. Um, hang on. Let me check. I'm quickly writing my name. <laughs> Stay with us, people. This is very exciting. You go into the box that says add signature and just. Yes, you just press the red box. So you just don't write it. your signature, you press that box and it means you've signed it. And then you should. Oh, how beautiful. beautiful. You see a box come up, say thank you for signing. Coffee. So I signed to Facebook. Amazing. Oh, oh wonderful, Elizabeth. Oh. Oh, so, <laughs> so oh. thank you, everybody, for taking part of that with us. We've already got some signatures and uh, we're going to send that out. We're going to invite um, everybody to spread that out. It gives you the option, Aki, uh, for people, once you've signed it, that you can share it. So we'll invite everybody to share it. But also, I'm going to come back with the first question I would like to ask everybody is um, how can we help? What's something we, this is, you're gonna help with this, uh, with the petition. Uh, we've also arranged, we're gonna do lots of letters of support to go with that application to the geographic board. I'm gonna come back around each of you and say what's something real practical, real practical that whanau who are watching, who want to help, they can't be there, they can't, be part of the occupation maybe but what's something they can help with uh, i'm going to go back in a reverse order of speaking so i'm going to come back to you danella it's going to come off mute So in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, where there's a little microphone picture that says mute and you click on that. We're there just trying to um, sign the petition. That's the oh. first thing. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, didn't mean, I did not want to distract you from that. So mm. we're going to let you go back to that in a minute. For now, though, what's one thing that people could do to help um, with your whawhai at the moment? No, we're just in the courts now. Yeah. Um, right now, we, we've we've just got a little bit more to do with this um, quarter uh, permit they've just given out. So we might challenge that yet. So help with court costs. Oh, uh, we. Yeah, we we um. We sort of we we're okay. We, we just keep we just keep going we have to battle <laughs> um yeah we have legal fees to pay but but the board pays them so mm. you know and when you say the board pays them am i correct in saying that the board members donate to the board to pay for them no um Danella and dave pay for it yes and there we go 
but that's okay. <laughs> we we know what we're getting into. We know what we're in. We don't have any um, need to plead, um, you know, hardship. We went into it with our eyes open. This is more than the Kōrera. This is the whole iwi that we've got a problem. The process of our treaty treaty settlements have changed history, really. Yeah. Mm. So our whole our, our whole problem within the iwi needs to be addressed, and um, it all relates to the process of the whole thing. So there's a whole lot of reasons. Um, there's a, we, we can't. I can't tell you. I could sit here all day. Right. And you, you know. It's all right. All of your workings and the way that you operate, that's all, you know, for you to sort. Yeah. If 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 someone wanted to make a donation though to your court costs, how might they go about that? Well, we have, we've had we've had um, a few little koha from people on the island have have put directly into our bank account, you know, the trust board account. Mm -hmm. But um So what we'd like to offer then is, is if you were prepared to give us the transport account, we would put that with the information that's from the seminar. And so that if people had had the capacity and had some puti that <clears throat> even if it's not a, a big amount, just to show some love because you're we, shouldering this. Yeah, but we... But it doesn't mean you should have to shoulder it all by yourself. Uh, we, we, we're doing okay, Liz. Honestly, yeah, we, I hear that. I hear the, thing, that. <laughs> the, the thing is, so we, we engage with council in a whole lot of different forums. And we get, we get Donella and I attend those who we and we get um, paid for those, but they go straight into the bank account of the trust board. So okay, okay. The, I'm just so gonna... everything's everything's good. And I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna be asking for money unless we really need it. And and there's other there's other protests going on that could use the money a bit easier than us. So so, so we're thank okay you. for now. Okay, thank you. So thank you. We, thank we know, you. okay, I would just like to clarify that you are not asking for money. We, that, that is not what you're doing. We would just like to know if some of us might like to donate. Would you be willing to give us the bank account number? So just so we can, just for if someone is able to, um, because the fact you get paid for work that you do does not detract from the fact that then you give that money to go and to work on this kaupapa. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to, let you go back on silent and collect yourself. Um, but I'm getting the bank account number, okay? Yeah. Just so you understand. Kapai. Kapai. Good. <laughs> just, just simpler I'm if you just gave it in the first place. <laughs> Let us help you. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate it, but I don't. But we don't. Oh, please, please, just. I, I, we appreciate I, love, it. I love your contribution. That is enough. That's enough now. I'm going to ask someone else how we can help them. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for all the mahi you do. It's, yes, uh, thank you. It, because when anyway, you do... Can, can I go now? No, no, I'm <laughs> signing my petition now, oh, yeah. Elizabeth. Okay, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you put thank you. And I'm, Kelly, how can we help? <laughs> well, mine's always... I, th I think the most important thing, first and foremost, I think how... Uh, for Māori is really go home, go home, get connected, get connected to your whenua, get connected to your moana. More of us that are doing it, the more of us will be fighting these issues. And I think for me personally, I think that's the first and foremost that I would like to see is that whānau can go home, whānau get connected and then come out, you know, and have that strength of their tūpuna behind them. I think for me, that's what I would love to see more than anything, and and the, our right to assert our rangatira tanga, our right to be Māori. And so, um, what I would like to see is that we don't have to fight to be Māori anymore. Okay? We can just be. And so, um, yeah. So for me, really nice and simple: go home, get connected, and get get with your tupuna. That, that's me. Kia ora. Kia ora. Oh, kia ora. Uh, I'll probably, when I think about us going through the courts and we had to apply to MFE for legal assistance to, you know, to 
um, help fund our lawyer. And, you know, the court case is over and the decisions are made and um, she ain't been paid yet because we haven't had that food yet. <laughs> and, you know, and this is the nature of our, our you know, our whanau Māori. She's, you know, she's a Māori lawyer doing it because she believes in the kaupapa, um, doing it for much less. And, and you know, what Kelly said, it's, it's David taking on Goliath here um, and with minimal resources. So... Uh, I'm not saying that we're asking people to donate for that, but I'm thinking, gee, is there a better pathway? Um, mm. Because, you know, it's a contestable fund, we were told. You know, I think we got 20% um, of what we had put in for. And, you know, our lawyer said, Kate Pai. But, you know, it's not fair to her. So um, so we, we followed, you know, some processes to get that financial assistance. But you know, for our whānau doing this sort of mahi, if there were better, easier processes to get that that support, um, it takes a lot of stress out of an already stressful, intense time. So I don't know if there's this Green Party magic wand. <laughs> you know, I'm making one. Pathways. Get I'm weaving one as access. we speak. Kia ora. Uh, and um, Mitya and Adana might have some other ideas. Um, yeah, I think uh, a bit of bit of inoi and karakia won't go astray. Um, <laughs> everybody out there, you know, um, in our Pukeyahu space, karakia and inoi have played a big part in our, our days. Um, so yeah, a bit of inoi won't, won't go astray. And what else do you reckon? Uh, to be honest, I'm just going to be flat out there. Putia. <laughs> the, yeah, that's going to help get our kaupapa to where we hope to um, get to in regards to um, bringing yeah. that vision to life um, for to um, enjoy. Yeah, so, and, and of, of course, there's also the social networking uh, thing that we've been talking about tonight too, you know, spreading the word for all of our causes, not just for Tikpuke Yahua. But, you know, getting the words out there on the social um, kumara vine uh, wouldn't go astray either. Yeah. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. uh, this is Aki here, Akanehi. Um, i tell you what, when we went to London uh, to the Privy Court, uh, that was a huge, huge cost. I was still living in Canada then. Uh, but uh, what the Fano here did was start to mobilize our own Fano, our own hapu, and they created hangis and uh, different jobs that they could do. Uh, if you had a skill, um, it, you, uh, you could ask for the skill and then donate toward that, um, toward our take. And mm -hmm. um, it ended up really well. It paid for a lot of the, the key people who needed to be in London, um, accommodation and, um, uh, well, of course, lawyers' fees and the court fees. And uh, we were able to handle it. Um, uh, but uh, what it did for us, I think, was everybody got involved in the same kopapa. And uh, it, it really, really, people stepped up out of the woodwork because the corridor was ticker. Kia ora. Mm. Thank you. So there you have it, people. We're going to go next to have a look at the questions. Here's ways you can help. Connect with the whenua, inoi, karakia, our social media networking, get the word out. So we're going to post and hear um, all of the, the contacts. Uh, for all of our opu who are here and uh, you can follow up get some more information because of course there's way more detail than they've been able to share tonight mm. uh, involving everyone in the kapa and in, in the kaupapa donating the skills or all kinds of amazing fundraisers that people could do but uh, the guts of it legal fees costs so if you can five dollars your ten dollars uh, and this is on the basis that people don't want to ask for this putia, but the cost is still there. People mm -hmm. are selling their homes. People are uh, sometimes losing their jobs because the kaupapa is their commitment. And 
So it's something really, really practical that we can do, but it's also not sustainable. It's not sustainable for us to fundraise for every single legal and, and the multiple. There's never just one court case. It's multiple. They're very tricky. The developers have all the money in the world. Councils are colluding with them and allowing them to not meet their resource consents, uh, sneaking things through, saying yeah. they don't need to be notified. And yeah. so yeah. this is the force. So in, in our hooky whenua, my discussion document, we'd suggested setting up a fund to buy back land. Now I realize we have to expand that to pay for legal fees. And there is precedence for that because the legal fee system that was used for the treaty claims. So uh, we'll do a lot more work on that. I'm mm. going to go and quickly look in questions because, of course, I've got 14 minutes left. I'm going to read fast. Oh, I'm going to go with uh, Kia ora, Joe Waitua, fabulous person. Uh, how do, can we get easier processes for restoring names outside of treaty settlements? Because it's like if you didn't do it in your treaty settlement, there's no simple way to do it. Does anyone have an, an answer for that? Do they do they know the geographic board is one way? I think it's the only way I know. Actually. It's the only way I know of right now when when you try to uh, um, take back a name, an original, a historic name. But uh, there was one thing that I was confident in is that the um, National Geographic Board is actually encouraging the return of Maori names. So just get in there, research it and see um, what, what's in there for you. I'm following that path and um, it's the only path that I know uh, that I've discovered. So I'm just going to hang with it until we we get what we want. Kilda, thank you. We've had somebody in uh, in the chat ask for the bank account number for um, Ngāti Pāua. Don't think we forgot it. Uh, so please, in the chat, you write that down, the proper name and the numbers in there. Thank you. Oh, Kilda. And um, we've got someone on here that says they've got $100 right now that they'd like to put in straight away. <laughs> so amazing. Thank you so mm. much. Mm. That is beautiful. Mm. We have one more question here. Uh, so please, Fano, if you've got questions or you would just like uh, our people to talk more, I'm going to give each each of you a time for a closing closing comments uh and it's a comment here from docs uh policies and procedures are made by people for the people right who are the people when the policies and procedures never no longer serve the people what is required to have these reviewed and amended what does it take to be heard and seen mm -hmm. fabulous Would someone like to to risk Kelly? I think, go know, I think we're still working on that because um, <laughs> they're not working. They haven't ever worked. They haven't worked since 1840. Um, we're still struggling, and um, and until we get our, I think until we move away from being, I, I really struggle with. Um, well, I'm in partnership with council. I'm in partnership with Doc. No, 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 no. I'm actually in partnership with Crown. Uh, because when I fall into this trap of being in partnership with um, Department of Conservation or Crown as a, as a hapu or iwi, we're still under a Crown construct. We're still yeah. given by Pākehā laws. Yes. And so until we get that uh, that right, um, nothing will work. We need to be working towards our rangatira tanga. We need to be working as a partner with Crown. Until that happens, we're just, it's a continued failure. Yes, yes. We're not the corridor of Moana Jackson. That's the same corridor he's giving. You know, we need our own uh, Tinoranga Tiratanga uh, because uh, we've been at this for 1840 and that's in the past and still in the present. We are under present colonial rule. Yeah, what I find is that, you know, the, the Crown, they give us this little bit of apple on the, you know, this little tidbit, and right behind that, 
is another law or an act that's been put in that keeps us <laughs> oppressed. And, um, and we, 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 we've been blinded by um, candy dangled at us, you know? And so yeah. going back, I think, to what I would like to see is the Crown are engaging with iwi, not just with any Māori, that they're engaging in a proper way because I see they, they create these boards and they have these representatives and then they go, okay, although there's 26 mana whenua or 19 mana whenua in Tamaki Makoto, they'll just talk to five or six Māori and tick box, there we go, all done and dusted and won't go around and properly and meaningfully engage with each hapu ma, uh, iwi on their marae. Now that would be a proper procedure when dealing with Māori back onto the whenua, back to where the tupuna are, and back where the kōrero should start. That's mm. what I would like to see, that that engagement mm. is happening back on marae. So uh, the question I would ask myself, this is Aki, Akanehi, uh, the question I would ask myself, how do we cut a pathway to the very thing that you were talking about? And I guess that's the work. That's that, the mahi. That's to how do we uh, get mm. to to that place uh, that we have genuine and real, real conversation with our government? Because this is governmental. Absolutely, and that's why we need the constitutional transformation. Oh, yeah, we need to have it, and completely there there is enough enough. There are not enough years for us to fix everything that is wrong with this yeah. government, with the colonial legacy uh, that they have left us yes. and and that we live within. Uh, we need a new way of working. Oh, we need time, a new paradigm. That's it right. It needs to be totally dismantled and not mm. the same bits being put back together in a different form. No. <laughs> we need exactly. whole new pieces where it's really framed right at the foundations. Um, and not just giving um, increments of, oh, let's just change this little legislation while we create another legislation that keeps them um, sort of shackled. Um, we need the whole thing dismantled in a new foundation of what works for both, for, for Māori and for you know, Pākehā, that we can live, but Māori have their own rangatiratanga, so that we can live in our own, you know, um, under our own team in, in Te Ao Māori. And so um, that's a big thing to do, um, but it, it does need to happen. Otherwise, we're just going to be in this in this uh, situation all the time. This hara is just going to keep being passed on and being passed on. And that's what I said to you before. I Look, it, wouldn't it be just lovely to just be Māori instead of having every day waking up, we've got this whawhai, this whawhai going on, then you're watching your back because the council's coming in. You've got to go and go and look at a wahi tapu site. And then you've got to come back. Then you've got to go into court. And then you're trying to work. And then you're trying to study. And, and it's just like, man, sometimes I, I think when I come back, I might be a park here. Yeah, I do, do you know, <laughs> I, I, I think this is the strategy of colonialism. It is a strategy that we, we think we're getting uh, beautiful and we're Maori and we're living in a da 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 but at the bottom end of it, we're still subject to colonialism. Colonialism, it carries with it a vibe that you, you uh, at this stage, that's why I'm saying, let's get a new paradigm and let's watch who we're voting for. I want a new government or, or totally all over because our governments have not served us. I don't sure believe. Can. Oh, yeah. they have not. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to thank, now I'm going to thank Aki and Kelly Kilda. I'm going to give a, a final word to Danella. I'm going and... to have it for you. <laughs> I, I um, We're our own worst enemies, you know, and um, we accept you know, you're talking about colonialism and you're talking about systems and processes. The, the absolute system of colonialism is dilution. And we're accepting it and allowing it to happen. Tino rangatiratanga, of our hapu, of our iwi, we don't enforce it or demand it enough. And, and 
I'll just give you an example of the super city of Auckland. You know, now everything relates to mana whenua, when really, in fact, the rohi and the, and the areas that we all inhabit, are, we are tangata whenua of that rohi. And, and, that, and treaty settlements have allowed them to do this. They've done this under treaty settlements, and we've let it happen, which we haven't even watched it happening. So you have now 19 iwi in Tamaki Makaura when once there were seven, because they, they changed the rules and made a super city and brought in another 15 iwi from all over the place and called it Tamaki Makaura. So they dilute your independence, they dilute your autonomy, mm. and you allow it to happen, or Māori allow it to happen because they, they put carrots in front of them. So now you have 19 iwi and Tamaki Makaro stealing from each other. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. Kilda. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're right. Okay. It's true. So let's listen. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> so let's just pull it back to the kaupapa, which is actually, yeah. we don't have power in most of these situations. These, these decisions are made for us and we have to fight. And that's what we've heard tonight is that so many of us in so many different ways just go in for the fight. And we do it through our academics. And when someone has put a new question up around uh, all the different ways that we need to make this happen. So we need the research. We need our people who are working in those in, those institutions we need people on the ground we need people holding the ground holding the space uh, we need people who are able to go to all the hui do all the meetings pati pati to whoever we need to uh, to make those conversations happen to build support uh, to link with community all of the decision making that needs to happen at all the different levels uh, I'm I'm sad that we're running out of time we've got more questions we'll have a good look at them and Dr. Elizabeth, can I just say one thing, is that uh, what I've noticed for myself, I'm making friends with Pākehā who are on our side. Do you know how much many Pākehā are for Māori views and Māori, they're coming out with the corridor, they're, 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 they're doing so much. So team, I'm teaming myself up with people who have influence that are for Māori. There are, there are many out there. Don't I don't swipe the whole land. You got to go and look for where uh, those who are like-minded as we are. There are many indigenous Pakeha, and they're beautiful. And um, they've helped me along this journey, encouraged me, and that's why I keep going because there's more of them out there. Kia ora, and this is the wisdom and the generosity of our kuia. And so I would like to hand, uh, before I close our hui tonight, I would like to hand it back to our rangatahi for your last thoughts. Last thoughts. Mama, easy. Um, kia kaha, kia maia, kia manawanu, kia mau ki te aka matua. Uh, yeah, aua, aua kōrero rānoa o tātou tūpuna. Okunai tūpuna ko ta rātou kōrero kia mau ki tēnā kia mau ki te kawai māro. In unity there is strength and looking to our taiau and our manu, our tūpuna saw a lot of strength in the kawai bird. How we just go straight from his perch to his fish, shum, down to catch it. And I think that's a good analogy for us. Eyes on the prize, don't need anything, break your neck. Tēnā tātou. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Kia ora. Ki mai. Kao, nothing more from me. Just ngā mahi nui kia, kia koe, um, Elizabeth. Um, koutou hoki, um, yeah, uh, kai uh, and, and just thoughts with... All of our uh, noho whenua across Aotearoa, our kaitiaki who are here tonight, those who aren't here tonight, uh, and but are fighting the same whawhai, uh, for our whenua, for our mokopuna, um, for our reo, 
just nga mahi nui kia, kia tato katoa. Kia ora. Yeah. Kia ora. This is, I knew that this would be really good, but it has been fantastic. I, it's been a privilege to listen to your talk and the years and generations of mahi that has been going on to get us to where we are. Mm -hmm. I loved what you said. There's some pickies, there's some heke. Uh, but through it all, we have to keep going. Eyes on the prize. That's it. Don't break your neck. <laughs> like those are words to live by. So I like to finish uh, my hui with a whakatauki. And it's it's very simple. Uh, that ma pango, ma fero, ka oti ai te mahi. With the red and the black. With our combined knowledge, our expertise, our passion, our love, our heart, our perseverance, we will get the job done. Thank you so much to each of you, our presenters. Thank you for everybody who's been listening to us online and who'll take the time to listen later on. Thank you for being here. We've got work to do, people. We'll make sure we'll take responsibility for taking part in uh, what we can do from where we are. Uh, we're going to send out all the links to so you can read up on these uh, what all our protectors are doing around the country. And we're going to send you a couple of bank account numbers. The Ngāti Power ones in that, but we're going to send those out to you and when we thank you for being being here tonight. So uh, go well. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you think about some of the things that were said here tonight. Uh, and I hope that, yeah, uh, sometimes yeah, lightens uh, our load at, mm. when we know that the work and the burden is shared amongst us. Uh, so uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. For Maria. For Maria. Oh, Maria. Thank you, Elizabeth. Namihi to you. Namihi, Elizabeth. Namihi, Kanto. Namihi to you, Pano. Mm.